when we had heard about this Chemtrack, this uh, five minute jar testing machine, we were like, well, that sounds intriguing. If we can cut our times down from one hour jar testing to five minutes, man, that sounds great. We actually demoed a unit and we used it for about a month and we knew then that that's it, we gotta have it. Then once we set the chemical dosage to what the results of the five minute jar test were, the online streaming current allows us to fine tune everything. We are a three million gallon a day water treatment plant. We're pumping from the river and uh, we do sedimentation and filtration. And our main coagulant is polyaluminum chloride. The water treatment plant was built in 64 and the recent upgrade was done in 2015. Our customer base is about 25,000 customers. Anybody who's from around this area knows that the Yakin River is probably the muddiest river of all of them around. On good hot summer days when we haven't had rain, you'll get turbidities of six, seven, and eight. And then you'll get one rain event overnight, you know, anytime, and all of a sudden your turbidity is going from eight to 800. Our goal is to make sure we have the safest, cleanest drinking water going out to each and every customer. And we're striving for that every day. With technology, it only allows us to do our job better. We bought the LC8 first, we call it the five minute jar test. And so that really improved our response time. Before we were running a six jar jar test that was taking us an hour to run. And by that time, the water we were just running had already made its way through the flocculators, everything like that. And it's already on its way through the basins. That turbidity changing so rapidly, the operators can't stay on top of it. That was the whole challenge is you were already one hour behind every time. With this technology, we can do things in a snap. Last year, we dealt with a lot of drought. This year, we've had a lot, a lot of rain. When we come in uh, Monday morning, the turbidity was right around 40. Um, we were feeding about 28 parts at that point. Um, within 30 minutes, the turbidity had jumped up to almost 400. So we run the five minute jar test and got 70 parts at that point. So we went from 28 to 70 parts in a matter of 30 minutes. We went ahead and bought the online unit and that's made life tremendously easy. The online streaming current allows the operator to see if they're overfeeding, underfeeding, whereas before we never had that. What we really love is that we integrated the ChemTrack products into our SCADA system. And so now we can see it in real time and we're being able to keep up with this turbidity fluctuating in real time. Chemical usage has gone down. We average now about 400 pounds a day a pack. So that has been cut in half. That also lightens the load on our filters as well. So it's, it's a chain of events that happen with us. You know, now our filters, we get better filter times. We get better filter numbers. Um, we get better, uh, the media lasts longer. So now we're not having to buy media once every two years. Now we're doing it once every five years. So it's, it's a savings all the way around and it all starts at the said base. Because we're removing so much more uh, particles and organics and things like that now, now we have increased our sludge load. We have been able to get better dewatering and we've actually found that we've using a lot less polymer to separate the water and the sludge just because of optimizing dosages. When I first come here, we weren't getting the removal of organics out in the system. Now, uh, with this pack and, and being able to optimize our dosage, we test on our raw side and we'll have uh, two to three milligrams per liter of, of TOCs and we'll have non-detect at the end of the said basins. With our disinfection byproducts, we were getting high TTHMs and uh, HAA5s out in the system. We really were. And so now that we've dropped our chlorine on our said basins with removing 99% of the organics, there's nothing for those TTHMs and HAAs to form to. So they have dropped very significantly. AWOP is the area-wide optimization program. The state of North Carolina is trying to get these water treatment facilities, especially surface water treatment facilities, 
to be uh, optimized. Rules being that you must have a combined filter effluent of less than 0.1 95% of the time and then have a settled number, uh, settled NTU of less than 2 95% of the time. Before now, we've never been able to meet that because of the fluctuating turbidities in the river and it rapidly changing, operators couldn't stay on top of it. Now we are meeting the AWOP program and hopefully at the end of the year we'll be an optimized plant. Running the Yakin River is a challenge every day, but it's fine because we have this instrumentation now. There's no more guesswork. It's, it's simple, it's easy to use, and I, I, I'm not looking back. I like it. <laughs>